are here now today starting up a brand new series on the channel and one that i've been really really excited for uh that being cult of the lamb this is going to be cult of the lamb day one and i gotta tell you man right off the bat this is a game that i've been itching to play for weeks now i feel like every single year there's just one really good roguelike that comes out that kind of defines the roguelike genre of that year right so there was hades in 2020 and 2021 we had returnal which by the way i still gotta play returnal i cannot wait for that right after cult of the lamb um and this year from what i've seen so far it seems to be Call to the lamb man this game looks like a beautiful amalgamation of hades of um forager and animal crossing right three things which i absolutely adore and i just gotta say i love everything that i saw of it and i can't wait to jump on the cult of the lamb train myself and be a part of this cult <laughs> let's get this started cult of the lamb this looks really interesting a lot of um spooky dark vibes but from what i've seen very colorful beautiful soft art cutesy kind of game and i love it when those two things kind of mesh <laughs> So right away, I love how this game has its own language, right? The text is in English, but the game has its own dialect, like Hollow Knight. So we're even getting Hollow Knight vibes in here as well. I love that. Hollow Knight was another great game I played. Ooh, and we are in the game. Digging it already. Love the isometric view. Game by Massive Monster. Nice. I like how it opens up. Ooh, spooky. This is really dark. But in the coolest way possible. Kneel to be sacrificed? Oh no, and now it's like Binding of Isaac. Before us stands the last of its kind. All others we have hunted down and put to the blade. Oh damn, so I'm the last of a race of people who are going extinct here. It's spooky. And these are some crazed devils or some kind of creatures that definitely want to take us out. But this final sacrifice of prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. Like the text shake on impossible. The heretic who lies beyond bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. Oh, so it's like this game has religious persecution vibes to it. I see. That's hella interesting. God damn. Right out the bat, really compelling game. I love how the music is so trippy. The world layout is so trippy too we're in some otherworldly dimension right now the one who waits what is that thing come closer fear not for those for though you are already dead I still have need of you those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death but instead they sent you straight to me oh shit okay i love how man i love how art imitates life right this is like the the age-old tale of how there's a dominant religion that the priests want to maintain and anyone who's not a part of it and believes in some kind of old faith is an outcast who deserves to be put to the blade. And they thought they were preventing us from reaching him by killing us. But ironically, we got to him. Damn. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Ooh, we have dialogue choices here too. That's so cool. Okay, here we go. It's cult in time. Absolutely. Absolutely, sir. I've been waiting a long time for this game. Ooh. Hell yeah, I love the opening to this game. It's great. I love it. If you guys saw my Hades review and saw bits and pieces of my commentary at that game, you'll know I love games that just get right into the thick of things. Woo! Look at that. We're getting into the combat. I love the music. Funky. It's like funky lo-fi, right? Lo-fi is usually very chill, but I, I don't know how I describe the music here. B to avoid damage. Oh, nice. We got a roll here. Let's go. Isometric Dark Souls. Dude, I'm digging the aesthetic of this game. It's so great. The aesthetic here is amazing. It's got that, it, it's like an art style that's a combo of what we see in Hollow Knight and that pop-up Paper Mario puppet style. I never played Paper Mario, but that game's got a beautiful art style and this is kind of paying homage to that, I feel. Ooh, this has got to be the roguelike elements here. We're progressing up and up and above. Okay, who's this? Ratau, first friendly NPC who is not trying to kill us. Fear not, I am Ratau. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. 
We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Okay, thanks. Rat a tat a tat. Oh, I love it though, man. Right off the bat, it's just so satisfying hacking and slashing in this 2.5D land. Liking the um, structure so far of this roguelike. Tao says we have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another po poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Oh, so yeah, I've heard about this vaguely, right? So we can basically recruit little dudes to our cult in this game. That's cool. We build like a little following and go through all the levels. That's sick. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith. We ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. No, poor thing. We got to save him. Everyone's so cute in this game. Oh, he's crying. Don't cry. Join my cult. <laughs> Yo, this... Oh my god. I was just gonna say it right now. This game is right up my alley. I don't even have to have played more than 20 minutes of this game to know that already. Because so far, it's got those roguelike elements. I love roguelikes. It's got these resource gathering and farming elements from Animal Crossing and Forager, which I also love. And it just combines the best of both worlds and it's a video game about those two things. 50-50. That's beautiful. All right, let's indoctrinate this new lad. Indoctrinate the cult. This is so fucking cool. <laughs> Convert me to your cause. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Oh my goodness, we can change the names too? Okay. Oh my lord. They all look like the Chewy toys that my dog loves to play with. <laughs> I, I literally have a Chewy toy named Foxy for my dog. So, okay, yo, we're gonna go Foxy. I'm gonna name these after my dog's Chewies. Let's go Foxy here. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful. But your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. True, true, true. Nutrition is important. Stay, stay healthy, folks. Ooh, chopping feels fun. It's literally like, now it's like Stardew. I love it. This game is like an amalgamation of everything. And look at that. Foxy is working away in the background over there. I gotta say, I gotta tell you guys, one of my favorite parts which sounds very mundane, but one of my favorite parts about playing these kind of games is literally just cleaning up, right? And it sounds so mundane and boring, but I just love to go about my day and just break a couple of stones, chop down a little bit of wood or trees. I love it. It's great. It's very relaxing, very therapeutic. Basic berry bowl. Simple meal made from berries. 15% chance of the follower pooping. Excuse me? Did Monsieur Kojima make this game? Did fucking Kojima get in here somehow and decide to design a little bit of shit in this game? Literal shit? Whoa. Damn, man. This game is layered AF. Oh, there's like actual skill to the cooking, like mechanical skill. I love it. So I guess the harder the dish is or... The better the dish is, the harder it is to make. So it's kind of like Genshin. I played a little bit of Genshin when it came out. And I think the mechanic is literally the same when you have to cook things, right? There's a little, like, meter moving around. Ooh. So we got doors we can choose from here. And so, yeah, okay. So this has got to be the loop of the game. We go through each of these realms, slay all four of the bishops, and then free the one who waits. Very simple premise. I dig it. Nice and snazzy low times. Three hearts. Legend of Zelda vibes intensify. Ooh, Leshy, you have come far, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I'm Deuzius. I give myself to the cause, oh mighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. All right, here we go. Boss time. Love to see it. Can't wait. Let's get this show on the road. I'm Deuzius. Ooh, I love the design of that boss. A lot of Binding of Isaac vibes. Hell yeah. Ooh, the music is great too. It's funky. Fucking loving this game so far. This, this game is like, it was like made specifically for me. Oh my goodness. And it's like a cutesy little follower after you beat the boss. Convert. Amdusios, please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Nice new followers. So we can beat the bosses and gain followers out of them. That's cool. A lot of Zelda vibes. Now, this game is literally everything I have played in my entire life combined into one. <laughs> I, I think that's amazing. <laughs> It's got the dungeon crawling of uh, Legend of Zelda and Hades combined. It's like they had a child. It's got the resource gathering of Forager and Animal Crossing and the building of Animal Crossing. Also the designs here of Binding of Isaac and Paper Mario, right? And great lo-fi too. 
The, the chill lo-fi vibes of the game, phenomenal. Uh, if I had to choose one thing out of everything uh, in this game I've experienced that makes me love it to the extent that I do, it's the fact that it actually makes resource gathering really fun. Right. So I think a big sort of um, big sort of department that a lot of resource gathering and construction games are lacking, which I granted, I do love those games on their own. Right. So Animal Crossing, Forager, all that kind of stuff. I love those games the way they are. But one thing they're lacking that could take them from being great to phenomenal is making resource gathering fun, right? And what this game does is it does just that. It basically makes it so that you have this game, which right now we're basically in Animal Crossing Forager mode. Uh, but on top of that, it adds in these roguelike elements and roguelike gameplay and roguelike combat, right? In the same realm as stuff like Binding of Isaac and Hades and all that kind of jazz, which I absolutely love already. And so it makes a genre I already love, which is resource gathering and building, all the more fun through other things that I love too. So like I said, it's like an amalgamation of all these amazing, incredible things I love about the games I played. So it's it's a great game for sure. That's so cool how like the more followers you unlock through your runs, the more of their appearances you unlock too. And eventually you can start giving those appearances to other followers. Customization is really nice here. I like it. Okay, so like the more followers we have, the more devotion we get over time, right? Because they're a part of our, our cult. And we got a shrine that relates to all that too. That is amazing. Ooh, I like this, man. This is one of those games where if you got to go into a tiny room, it's very old school. Like you don't completely populate the screen with environmental details. It's only that tiny little corridor's worth of environmental detailing. Sermon. Perform a sermon drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the Red Crown. Hmm. I shall. <laughs> That's awesome. This is so cute. I love how the game has pretty dark undertones, but it's all presented in such a cute manner. Great leader, the cult is growing by the day. It is time you gave it a name. Ooh, Cult of the Lamb. Oh, that's that's pretty generic, right? That's a basic name right, right there. So hold up, is, is Twitch chat over here able to actually name the cult as well? Can you guys like contribute there or, or nah? Even, even if you can, just like definitely hit me up with some suggestions. I am open to all the suggestions in the world. Keep on keeping honors, yo, I like that. I, I love that, Kale. Cult of Water Time? Ooh, we're getting a lot of opinions here. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see. Oh, okay. Cult of Water Time it is. <laughs> Cult of Water Time. <laughs> that has a nice ring to it. It's so Animal Crossing, but you know what's ironic about this game? Is it's cuter than Animal Crossing, even though Animal Crossing is literally the foundation of that game is on cute, adorable, wholesome vibes. This game gives me more so of that feeling than Animal Crossing does, even though this game has really dark undertones to it, you know? <laughs> That's really funny to me. This game honestly feels like an adult, sw adult swim game. You know what? That's actually the best description I've heard of this game thus far. That's great. Heck it. So it is true. The red crown sits upon the brow of another. Well, how? We did everything we could to. It matters not. We need not bother Shamura with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. <laughs> I'm just doing the voices based off of what they sound like, and it's actually pretty fun. I think one of my favorite parts of playing most indie games, like Hollow Knight, for example, is like just doing funny, wacky voices for all the characters. But in this game, I like how they make a little sound before the dialogue reads out to the player to give you an idea of what they sound like, so I can make things more fun that way. <laughs> okay, Helob, ooh. What's going on here? I love the crunch of their little bones. Oh no, he's trying to eat someone. Oh, is that like a new follower? Can I literally buy a follower from this guy and force him into servitude for me, for my cult? What? Oh, okay. I just gave him regular gold, I think. <laughs> That's so messed up. Oh my God. This game is the most interesting amalgamation of me simultaneously feeling really comfy with how nice and warm and pretty everything looks and how cutesy everything looks but me also feeling equally disturbed <laughs> it's like you said it's like adult swim follower raffle okay let's try this out right so this gives the chat an opportunity to name the new folk here this is such a cool concept i love it we can actually get people to participate here from the chat and naming things oh nice you got two let's go we got two people 
Nice. Okay, so GMG Hippie won the raffle. Let's go. Welcome to the cult. While there are creation in progress. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, so I'm guessing you do this through like the Twitch extension, right? It, it You choose all the different things for the follower and then it like comes into my game. That's so awesome. <laughs> that's so cute. I love it. Great leader. When times are tough, we can cook grass meals. Followers won't like it, but it beats, st it beats starving. Try it now. That's totally what Kale sounds like IRL, by the way. I know. Amazing impression of Kale. Nailed it. Moving on. <laughs> oh, so you got a follow request from Kale. Make Kale eat grassy gruel. Ew, that sounds nasty. All right, Kale. Supper time. Got you a little midnight snack here. Got you a tiny little midnight snack. Wake up and get to work. Ah. Oh! I don't know if uh, I would constitute, uh, I don't know if eating a midnight snack constitutes as work, so I hope that's all you do and you don't do anything more. Sorry, Kale. <laughs> you can't be so mad. You can't be so sad and mad. I made you the food. I made it a midnight snack. It's a nice thing I did for you. Nobody's telling you to go and do all this work. Come on now. Come on. I get a load of non-canon Kale here. We're going to call him non-canon Kale just so... IRL Kale doesn't think I'm insulting him personally. I get a lot of non-canon Kale doing work out here in the middle of the night, not being grateful for my for me completing a quest. Okay, he is grateful, clearly. I am eternally grateful. Okay. Let bygones be bygones. Okay, let faith be faith. Let's get it. <laughs> that was an interesting little anime arc right there. That was so fucking funny. Like, we get a quest from non-canon Kale to make him some food and i'm like i've been busting my balls out here all day it's nighttime i care enough about you kill here we go let me make you some of your food nice little midnight snack come on out get, get out of your sleeping bag i made you something nice here you go kale's reaction fuck you but okay i'm gonna have the food anyway thank you <laughs> later it would be so funny if we pull some hilarious pranks on piggy they are a real picky eater, so let's make them eat poop. What? I don't want to make Piggy eat a bowl of poop, even though that's what pigs do most of the time. <laughs> it's so fitting that his name's Piggy. <laughs> okay, Kale. Because you're a lovely dude in the chat. I'll feed another follower shit. The things I do for my Twitch chat. Obviously, making shit costs shit. Did you guys know that? Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel so bad for him. He's like all excited and shit to like eat this shit. No! This is the most emotional moment in all of gaming for me here. I feel so bad for Piggy. How could you, non-canon Kale? How could you? This is the moment non-canon Kale became Heisenberg. I must thank you by reliving me... By relieving me of my duties, you have granted me what I desire the most. Peace. I don't know if I am real happy about that though, Ratao. I'm slowly coming to regret that decision. I just got told by one of my followers to feed another follower a piece of shit. Like, quite literally. Can't make that up. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. Is that so? Let's see about that. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's terrifying. It's got like that demonic cursed sandworm mouth yeah i i love the perspective of this game like how everything is just popping out constantly and the way you just morphed into something massive and you just zoom out and see more at the level that's great oh my goodness whoa i believe i have the faith of my cult and the faith of myself that we shall get this boss fight in the bag we got this i get the platform has such a wobbly feel to it it's like you're literally on the stage of a puppet show of all the wobbling and shit that's happening. Oh, that's cool too. That big zoom in. This game is so like wonky and... I thought he was going to start chomping on it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what? No. Hippie died? What the fuck? Oh God. Go into the temple. Everyone gather around for a quick prayer session. Arresting the man, the myth, the legend. Ain't no way I'm tossing him in a hole. <laughs> Perform a ritual at your temple to conduct a funeral for a recently passed follower. Funerals? That's cr Those are cringe. Get out of here, funerals. Imagine not being able to bring people back to life, yo. Who even does funerals when people die? Let's do this. Imagine doing a funeral, man. Come on. They, start, they say art imitates life. 
Life's all about rising the dead, right? That's what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. But what is death? Okay, here we go. Hippie's coming back. He's coming back, baby. We leave no one behind. Ritual of resurrection. Oh my god, thank fuck I have just about enough. <laughs> it says I need 150 bones. I have 157. Hippie, I got you. Here we go. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> Let's go. I got you, boys. Like I said, no man left behind. 